I'm back again and um, with a new video. Um, yes, I just want to say I just want to thank some of you, thank some of you out there who's made uh, who's made uh, our seven best performances uh, video a hit. It has it has over fifty views and counting. So I just want to give a special and uh, yeah, uh, number one on our list was Kristen Stewart. I just want to say. Uh, um give a special shout out to my fellow k Stu fans out there and wish you all a happy new year and our girl k Stu have a, a great 2017 herself um as for the worst list well hey on, on my worst list i got my first dislike i've never had a dislike where someone clicked the thumbs down button hey but hey Haters and trolls is what keeps you relevant, right? Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure that one dislike is Jared Leto himself clicking the thumbs down. <laughs> oh, on the worst <laughs> performances uh, list, he's not, Jared Leto's number one. I wouldn't be surprised if, if that only dislike is his. Um him clicking the dislike button. Um, um, this is not a movie review. I, I may have another surprise movie review, but as for the moment, I don't plan to review anything until uh, Underworld 5. So that would be, give it another week from now, weekend from now, there'll be Underworld 5. I will re eventually review fences but that's that's not uh, my priority um but yeah tomorrow i will record a the, the winter spring 2017 previews of movies i will watch and intend to review whether i praise them whether i bash them only time will tell but um, the discussion here this is about your least, you know, your least favorite famous person. Um, they could be mo they could be movie stars. They could be politicians, musicians. Hell, they could even be uh, fitness gurus or, 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 you know, someone of the fitness industry. Um, um, they're, they're just someone that you've, you've read read about them in magazines, read their interviews in magazines, come across them on the internet, saw them on TV in an interview, see them in movies, and just some way, somehow, that no matter what they do or say, that they're just not your, they're just not your favorite people. Um, I mean, I could sit here and talk about 20 people I don't like, but um, I'm just going to bring it minimize it to five people uh for starters is at the, at the bottom of this list uh, i would say is uh bodybuilder nicole wilkins is among my least favorite people that i come across you know in the magazines or or on the internet including here on in, in, on youtube um you know anybody who's followed the fitness industry and how uh, the female bodybuilding has become the main in the in the mainstream since the 1980s. Uh, yeah. like my way, my hey, is this your my, your show or mine? Huh? Oh, no, is it? My way, then, and I think not that bad. So, um, Nicole Wilkins. I mean, if you follow. <laughs> You know, I mean, you, anybody who follows uh, bodybuilding, especially female bodybuilding, if you're a woman who's into fitness yourself, you've you've seen Nicole Wilkins appear on those fitness <laughs> magazines for women like Oxygen Magazine or, or Fit Muscle and Fitness Hers or, 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 you know, or some Iron Man magazine or, you know, where she's in a pictorial, in a skimpy bikini, whatever. Um, Nicole Wilkins, you can't miss her. She's that that stunning blonde with a winning smile, who is a four-time figure Olympia champion. Um, I mean, she's got a, a, a 
a striking face, a, a, an, ex, a, a, an amazing physique, well-built body. Um, um, Nicole Wilkins, there's no doubt that she's a, a driven woman, a very accomplished woman, um, very attractive. But I don't know. I just get a weird vibe from Miss Wilkins. It's like it's just there's just something about her that screams prima donna. Like she just strikes me as a prima donna. You know, uh, you know, watching her, some of her YouTube videos and 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 and, 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 and peeking on her on her Instagram every now and then. It's just she just comes across as a as a pre, as just just a self entitled prima donna. You know, despite. I don't know. Just I just get a weird vibe from Nicole Wilkins. I um I, that's just my view on Miss Wilkins. Another person that I'm just not too fond of. Um, just another person I, I'm I'm just not too crazy about is. Uh, Another person I, I, um, is, uh, well, they're politicians. I mean, there's plenty of politicians to not out there that are just damned unlikable. Um, I'd be cheating if I said Ted Cruz or, or but one person I, I'm just not crazy about as a politician is Bernie Sanders, especially where he goes up and talks about that socialism crap. I mean, if you study, I mean, if you're someone who studies political science very well you would understand that those countries third world countries that turn to socialism like in uh, the uh, africa latin america and the caribbean they vote for socialist leaders who promise who makes promises they can't damn keep they hit a brick wall and then before you know it they're they're asking the united states and the other western powers for help you know, because they then realize that, oh, yeah, their stupid socialism system doesn't work. And now you have Bernie Sanders who talks about socialism. And, and I mean, I mean, should this guy run for president in 2020 and he wins and he defeats Donald Trump? I mean, and he drops the ball with his socialism bullshit. I mean, who what other fucking countries in the world is going to bail us out? I mean... I mean that 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 would be the poignant question I have for Mr. Sanders. You know, if you screw up, sir, who's going to bail the United States out? You know, when those other third world countries turn to socialism and 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 they fall flat on their face, they turn to us, the United States. Well, again, if the United States turns to socialism and we fail, who's going to turn to uh, who's going to bail us out? Who do we have to turn to? I bet he can't answer. And then if he can't answer, then and he's running for president in 2020, well, then nobody should vote for him. Um, um, another person, um, another per that, that's the fourth, he's number four on my list, Bernie Sanders. Another person that I'm just not too fond of, and again, she's a fitness icon, very overrated fitness icon, but as uh, Jillian Michaels, I just it's just that smug look on her face. Just again, it's just I don't know, it's just always that smug look on her face. Um, another she's third on my list. Another person that I'm just not too fond of is. Another person that I'm just not too fond of is Juliet Binoche. I mean, yes, I own Clouds of Sils Maria on DVD. I've seen it like three or four times. Pr primarily because of my gal, Kristen Stewart, and and up and and she's a hell of an up-and-comer too, Chloe Grace Moritz, mainly because of them I watch it. But Binoche, I, I, I just always found her as as an actress is just that she's just that one dimension one di very to me one dimensional and just always it's just always that you know pretentious euro trash individual in every damn thing she's in i just that's just my take on Juliet pinoche i mean to think to see her in you know clouds of sills maria she's being 
pretty much very piggybacked by aging teen idol Kristen Stewart. And then now she's going to, next year, 2017, she's going to be in in Ghost in the Shell and, and be, play second fiddle to Scarlett Johansson, who's more of a sex symbol than a serious actress. I, To me, I, I don't think Binoche is that great. I mean, I mean... I don't think she's that great. I, I, I think, honestly, if you look at Kristen Stewart's resume and Scarlett Johansson's resume, they've both these young women have both have worked with other actors and actresses more relevant than Benoche or Benoche or however the heck you say her name. And number one, Benoche is number two. Number one on my list, a person I just absolutely can't stand is Jared Leto. Which, okay, enough said. He's, he's who appeared as number one on my worst performances list of this year. I mean, I mean, if he ever ends up on one of my best lists in, the, in future years to come, it's either, it's, it's maybe because I'm, a, a, I'm dying of cancer and trying to make peace with God. It won't be because Le, Le, Mr. Leto is such a great actor. And so that's my preferences of least favorite uh, people, uh, famous people. And I, you know, if you have a list of minimum five people, put them below, you know, put them in the comment section below. And I just want to say, please do not say Hillary Clinton because that's cheating or say Donald Trump because that's cheating or outgoing President Barack Obama because that's cheating or any of those Kardashians, including the, Jen the Jenner girls, that's that's cheating, or Kristen Stewart, because that's cheating, or Jennifer Lawrence, because that's cheating. Just be original. That's all I'm saying. And that's my video, and you have a good one.